Well, I think the first thing is the end-to-end -end nature of the solution. So from Ericsson, you can have the radios, the baseband, uh, the microwave transport network, and the core network that will all be needed to have a 5G solution. But when you look into the details, what we see is being extremely important in moving from 4G to 5G is the technology called dynamic shared spectrum. And this allows the radios to run both 4G and 5G simultaneously and will allocate resources depending on the usage of 4G and 5G devices in the network. Now why is this important? It's because that with this technology you can then have carrier aggregation between 5G, 4G, uh, high bands and low bands and this will give operators much greater performance and much greater geographical reach. Without this technology then you will not have 5G coverage across the whole of Poland. Ericsson has been first to market with this dynamic shared spectrum and we do the uh, granularity down to one millisecond. So every one millisecond we are working out what 4G and 5G devices are out there in the network and sharing the resources. Nobody else can do this, so this is a real competitive edge. When you look at Ericsson's baseband, which is made in Poland, made in Tchev, and we're showing it at the exhibition today, and with software that's developed by Krakow and Wuj, software engineers, then this baseband is the most future-proof solution in the world. You can go from 4G to 5G with a software download. In 5G, there's two different standards, non-standalone and standalone. You can go from non-standalone to standalone with a software download. So the future-proof nature of our products and the simplicity of operation make them stand out against the competition. Well, Poland's an extremely important market for Ericsson. Uh, first of all, from the, the business side, Poland is one of the largest countries in Europe with a the population. Uh, there's lots of young people wanting to take advantage of new services like, like video and online applications. And therefore, it's a great market for bringing in new innovation and new technology. So we really do see that there's a very bright future of going from 4G to 5G for the consumers and for industries in Poland too. Uh, we in Ericsson have made decisions to invest significantly in Poland. At first we have the research and development. We have 2,000 radio software engineers based in Krakow and Budge developing software for radios and basebands that are deployed all over the world. And recently we've announced that we are starting to manufacture uh, basebands and radios in Tchev. And this allows us to expand our production facilities in Poland and now Poland will be producing 5G equipment for Europe so it's an extremely important market for us. Okay. Today we're signing a cyber security agreement with the government and we see that this will forge a, a strong cooperation where we can bring the strength of Ericsson's cyber security skills in Stockholm, in Poland and work with the government to really make sure Poland has strengthened cyber security policies and networks for the consumers and for the industries. I think we need to have harmonized policies. Uh, we need to look at the uh, technical and non-technical issues to make sure that Europe is protected for these new industries that will be using 5G. The, the IPR of these uh, companies will be on the 5G network and the security of that is paramount for the European business in the future.